I've been making art, crafts, and music most of my life, but I've never been able to stick to just one thing. I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none. And you know what? That's okay. I follow my interests wherever they take me. My name is Shane, and this is Dark Photon Studio. Greetings, humans of the planet Earth. I sort of play guitar, and for my guitar tone, I tend to use VST plugins. However, I prefer to use fuzz distortion and wah as external pedals. And I don't have a huge collection of pedals, but I have enough now I'm getting sick of kicking them around under my desk. So I need to figure out a way to organize them and make it a little more convenient to use. So I'm going to build a pedal board. Now I'm not planning on doing any gigging with this, so it doesn't have to be especially rugged and roadworthy. But I'm not going to make it flimsy either. Also, the ones you buy tend to be a bit bulky and lift the pedals up off the floor, um, which isn't really ideal for what I need. To make the board, I'll be using 6mm MDF, Mod Podge, Silver Paint, this rubber stripping stuff, thick Velcro, and sandpaper. Now, I had most of the materials already for this project uh, from doing stuff around the house and uh, other projects. The only thing I bought specifically was the rubber stripping that's going to go around the outside and the Velcro. Conveniently, I have this pre-prepared board of MDF cut to the exact size I need. Well, I didn't actually record cutting out the board because I had already done it months ago before I decided to make a video out of this. Medium density fiberboard soaks up a lot of paint, so I'll be coating it with a layer of Mod Podge. You could, of course, use some sort of primer, but I have this, so that's what I'm using. Though I probably should have used a primer, as you will see. Before I paint, I'll lightly sand the surface so it will stick better. For the paint, I'll be using this sensual silver. Again, I already have it, so I'm going to use it. Unfortunately, the silver wasn't very opaque, and a black undercoat probably would have given me better results. But after more than a few coats, I'd had enough and deemed it good enough. MDF tends to flake off and easily gets banged up, so I have this rubbery stuff to put around the edge. Also, I cut notches in each of the four corners, otherwise it bunches up and doesn't hold on to the corners very well. Next, I'm adding this extra thick Velcro, also from Amazon, to the board, pedals, and power supply so they stay put. And that's it. The pedal board is done. I arrange the pedals on the board, plug them all in, and I'm ready to make some noise. I don't really consider this to be a proper how-to. Um, I do this for myself. Um, if you get something out of it, uh, that's great. Uh, and if you do want to do something similar, you might want to modify things a little bit. For example, if you have hardwood flooring, you might want to put some felt pads on the bottom or you can put it on a small rug. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I. Uh, Hope you uh, come back again, because uh, next time I'm going to be working on my old neglected Iceman IC50 from 1982.